This has been my desk knife, or my corner of the kitchen counter knife for quite a while. A desk knife is a knife that sits on your desk. Uh, that's the knife that you use to open boxes, uh, open letters, um, you know, do those things that you would do with a pocket knife, but you don't have a pocket knife in your pocket. And we're going to talk about this knife, not exactly this knife. We're actually going to talk about a different knife. So this is the Kershaw Select Fire. It's a model 1920. And this has been my desk knife for quite a while. And actually, that's not true. I got this knife fairly recently. This has been my desk knife for the past five years or so. This is the Ravencrest Tactical Multi Knife, and it is a clone of the Kershaw Select Fire. I was looking for a replacement for this uh, multi knife, I couldn't find one, and that's when I realized that it was just a clone of the Select Fire. The Select Fire is not a new knife. These have been around for I think about 10 years and this is the standard model I guess. There was also a, a second model with a half serrated blade and blue handle scales and those have been discontinued unfortunately. The Select Fire has a three and a quarter inch blade and the handle is four and a quarter inches long with overall open length of seven and a half inches. The handle is 5 eighths of an inch wide at its widest point back here. This is a multi-tool of sorts, a very simple multi-tool with just a single blade. And on the back, it has a bit driver that locks open at a right angle and straight. And on either side, it has storage for four bits. These flip out so that you can select whatever bit you want to use. The bit driver is magnetic and it's got a pretty solid magnet in there to keep your bit in place. Some little markings measure in millimeters on this side and inches, it's got markings at an eighth and a quarter on this side. This kind of looks like it could be a bottle opener but it doesn't work very well as a bottle opener. The clone is almost identical. The only difference is the blade. It's got a little bit broader blade right here that is a, a straight edge. Now the Select Fire has a slightly narrower blade, more of a dropped point, and the edge is slightly concave on the bottom there. Very slight. Uh, the blades are also different steel. The clone there is a 440C, while the Kershaw is a 8C or 13 MOV steel. Now, while both of these knives are made in China, and I suspect they're made in the same factory in China, uh, they are different quality. If you take a look at a couple of things here, this clone is definitely some uh, more subpar materials. You can see there, Kershaw does not have that problem. This one doesn't have quite as nice of a lockup. And when it's open here, it's got quite a bit of play. This one's got a much snappier opening and doesn't have as much play. A little tiny bit of wiggle there, but not as much. This one's also got that really great magnet. Really grabs those bits and keeps them in. Well, the clone does have a magnet in there, but it's pretty weak and it barely holds onto that bit. The price on the Select Fire is about $30. And I don't remember what this cost when I got it about five years ago. I think it was around the same price. And maybe that's why you can't find these clones anymore, because they're much uh, lower quality for the same price. 
So why is this my desk knife? Because a knife and a screwdriver are the tools that I find the most useful when I'm sitting at my desk or uh, standing in the kitchen or you know trying to change the batteries in one of the kids toys opening boxes opening the mail that sort of thing screwdriver on this it's long so it's easy to get into some smaller places you can swap these bits out for whatever things you use the most so that is the Kershaw model 1920 the select fire that's my desk knife or usually the corner of the kitchen countertop knife. Let me know if you've got one of these, uh, if it's something that you use, or maybe you've got your hands on one of these clones. Uh, I really like this. Uh, I just didn't know that there was a better version of it out there uh, until I went looking for a second one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a thumbs up. If you hated it, you can leave a thumbs down. And if you want to tell me something about this video, or just tell me how your day's going, leave me a comment. I appreciate you all. I'll see you next time.